What's up people of the internet, I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the silver mode architecture and part of the Bechera family of power efficient processors. It has two cores and two threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page as well as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of 792 MHz in the N2840's case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000's architecture, or using the latest driver suite available. You also have 4 GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500 GB hard drive with the operating system and also which game is installed. As for operating system, we're using Windows X Lite Resto Revival version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Watch Dogs 1. Shout out to the person who requested it. We're also gonna run the memory duct up before watching the game and I've set it to clean the RAM once the switch reaches 90%. And let's get straight to the points now.
Guys, I know the performance really sucks, but let's try to make it run less bad. This is the mod that we'll be using to modify the game's config. I will provide the download link to it in the pinned comment. Extract the mod to whatever location you desire, it doesn't matter, and now let's open it. This is how it looks like. Now, go to its graphics tab. Before proceeding with the tricking, let's create a new backup preset from up there. Let's name it backup and click on save changes down below. Now we can proceed further. Change the settings as I'm doing it. As for the resolution, we're going to keep it at 800 by 600 for now, but you can lower it even further to 640 by 480 I will test it with that resolution later too, don't worry. Finally, make sure to create a preset, let's name it ultra low 800 by 600 for example, then click on save changes once again. One thing that might happen after using the mod is that the controls might get deleted. You can fix this very easily by simply going to your keyboard and mouse settings and inverting the controls back to default. And let's see if the game runs better now.
and now let's lower the resolution to 640 by 480. Let's create another preset and see if lowering the resolution to 480p makes any difference FPS wise. 